All right, sticking with politics now, a massive foreign aid package has passed through the House and now sits in the hands of the Senate. It's a $95 billion package. It includes about $26 billion for supporting Israel and providing humanitarian relief for the people in Gaza, and $61 billion will go to help forces in Ukraine. Now, House Speaker said in response to it passing that the U.S. would rather send bullets than boys to support Israel and Ukraine. Today I got a chance for an exclusive sit down with Senator Tim Scott, who says he feels supporting Ukraine could give them a chance to defeat Russia. A massive foreign aid package is now in the hands of the Senate. It's $95 billion, big aid to Israel and to Ukraine. Will you support this and do you think it'll pass through the Senate? We're certainly reading through the package right now. It passed the House uh, on Saturday. It certainly has some very important parts to it. I think uh, primarily the support of Israel is stand out from my perspective, a necessary component to uh, peace in the Middle East, giving the resources so they can replenish their weaponry and stay on the offensive, I think is incredibly important. Really three tranches within the legislation is the Ukraine aid. Uh, much of it alone now, uh, so we're thankful for that change. It received 360 votes in the House. I'm going to study this package, but I'm more optimistic this time around than the last package that lacked accountability that I needed to see. So we've seen a lot of changes in the package. We'll see what happens uh, tomorrow afternoon. Well, Senator Scott added that the legislation, he added some to the legislation of the bill that would sanction Mexican cartels and freeze their assets in hopes that would curb fentanyl trafficking into the United States.